Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Tonight we're going to look at GORS, which is a visualization uh, tool for, uh, for Git repositories. And what you're watching here in the background is a YouTube video that I found where the Linux kernel is being visualized from, uh, yeah, from 19, uh, 1991 and until 2015. So that is the development. And this, this is made with, uh, with this tool called GORS. And it's, it's really awesome to create a, a beautiful visualization, especially if you have a project that uh, runs over many years, then you will, uh, of course, then you will get it even uh, nicer visualization and if you have um, the, the more developers you have the you have the, the nicer it will also look but actually it will show you all the branches all the commits and all the yeah yeah all, all the commits and all the changes you are made, making those are being visualized um, per file actually so it's uh, so if you just change one file you can actually uh, commit that then you can see which file has been committed uh, with course so, but let's come back to this visualization because of, we want to create this visualization ourselves, of course. So the first thing I actually, uh, so the first thing we actually need is we need to go to gauss.io right here. Then we can uh, download the gauss tool for Windows. I, I, I can't make it work for Linux. So, um, yeah, so I'm using a Windows machine for this uh, demonstration right here. If you can make it work with Linux, then... Uh, there, then let me know and write in the comments how you actually did it. It is uh, yeah. So download that, and then uh, if you follow the guide and uh, the wiki from uh, from Gauss, then you also need a tool called ffmpeg to um, yeah to 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 uh, to see what I call a zip to uh, to pack to pack the the Gauss.ppm file into a MP4 file instead. Uh, you, could, you, you can use FFmpeg, but you can also use other tools, of course. I, I'm using uh, FFmpeg, and I did that by downloading that uh, tool right here, FFmpeg right here. I downloaded the Windows version, I placed it in the folder, and then I went to my path settings in my uh, Windows, and then I, uh, I, I copy-pasted the path to the uh, binary, to the bin folder in, uh, yeah, for FFmpeg. But enough with all this talking, because after, after that, then I found a good repository, in my, uh, in my, on my GitHub account, and I had one right here, Spring Boot View JS Maven. This is how to combine um, yeah, View JS with a Spring Boot application. So it's actually how to embed a View JS application inside a Spring Boot application. I have not made that many commits, but it still looks awesome. So what I did was, of course, I also, you also need Git. You need to install Git also if you don't have that. So. Um, so after yeah, so I, I cloned this repository by pressing well, it's the, the code button right there. And then I copied this URL and then git clone somewhere in my repos folder. Then I went to PowerShell. Yes, of course. Now that we are dealing with uh, uh, now that we're dealing with Windows, of course we are using PowerShell, and I have one PowerShell right here. So of course, if you're Linux, then um, you might get a bad taste in your mouth when you start up the PowerShell, but it is actually not that bad. It is still a shell, right? So, no, but, and then uh, right now I've navigated to, to the D drive where I have a folder called repos, and there I have my Spring Boot Vue.js Maven repository. This is my Git repository. Then I go somewhere, then I can write gauze, and then I don't give, need to give any um, arguments if I just want to see uh, what's going on. Oh, I only need to move this to the other screen. So this is the, yeah, this is the visualization for the, for uh, from my repository, and I just changed a readme.mark file, uh, markdown file, just a couple of minutes ago, just to see the changes, and that's what you can see right there. You look, look you can see the date in the in the top, 13th of August, and you can actually also you can you can, you can go back and forth in the bottom right here, and you can also do some cool things like like if you right click, then you can turn this uh, graph around. So it is really awesome, it looks cool. You can also zoom in and out. You can use the mouse wheel, in the then you can zoom in and out. There's probably a lot of features if you if you go and read the documentation. But as usual, I have read as little as possible to get started and to use this uh, tool, right? Oh, I uh, yeah. So that is uh, actually it. And after now now that we can run GORS, of course we would like to save this somehow, right? Because we want to to show this to other people. Maybe we want to create a video just with our repository and put, place it on YouTube, just like the other guys did with the Linux uh, kernel, right? And how do we do that? Yes, you write GORS minus O for output. And then you, if you want the, the wide format, then you write 1280 times 720 like this. And then we will get a .ppm file. So let us do that. 
Again, it comes another screen, so I'll just quickly drag it over here. <clears throat> yeah, it is generating, still generating. Dog compose, YAML file. What about the readme file that I just changed? The 13th of August. When does that come? Yeah, 5th of June. Nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. Okay, but uh, now we should get the file. So let me just run directory right there. I did not get any file. Why not? Oh, I forgot to give an argument, which should be the file name, of course. So if I write space and then um, my gauze movie, that's ppm. Okay, I need to uh, I need to get some help uh, regarding the syntax, so I will uh, go to the. It's actually right there. Okay, that's because uh, I had the the syntax was almost right. I need to uh, I need to. I had to give the resolution first, and then I had to give the. Then I had to give the file name after that, and I forgot to give the file name, so I'll just paste right here, like this. Let us see if it is happier with this format right here. Yes, it is. Now it runs on the screen again. So let us see it once again. My beautiful Git project. I can also turn a bit around. Let us see if it changes something. Change a bit around. We'll zoom a bit out, zoom a bit in. Just want to see if it makes uh, any difference to the final movie. Okay, so now it's done. Now we have a ghost.pbm file. Can you see that? Now we have this uh, file right here. So since it's not encoded or anything, then it's a large file. So we need to encode it with the tool. And we can do that with this command right here. And of course, there's a lot of explanation to what it does. But what it actually does, it, it creates a .mp4 file. That's, that's what it does. And of course, feel free to go and read all of, up about it. What does it do? This, um, what does it do? What, what, uh, yeah. How can we tweak this FFM impact uh, tool? It's okay, but now I'm, I'm just going to use it. So I'll go right here, say edit and p did not did not press copy. I have some problem with copy pasting. It's it's very difficult for me. I don't know why. When I go to PowerShell and suddenly sometimes uh, you see here the content of the of the clipboard is not there. I'll press Control C then instead Control C. Let us just see again. Edit paste. That is incredible. It is possible. I just did a right edit paste. Nothing happens. I'll mark this once again. Right click copy. And edit paste. Yes. This time it went better. And now it is creating a .mp4 file instead. And when it's done encoding, let us just see how it what it looks like. It has a frame rate of 60 frames per second. I can see that on the bottom right there. And it's done. Okay, so now I'll go to Windows folder and I'll go look for the file. It's right here, gauss.mp4. I'll just show you. Here I have it, gauss.mp4. Then I can double click that and let us see what it looks like. This is my mp4 file. I'm using a VLC to play the file. Let us see if yeah look the the, the yeah the the mouse movement and, and the zoom in and out it actually it comes on the final result mm -hmm. in the final movie, which is really really cool, right? Great. That's what I want to show. I want to show Gauss, and uh, if you did not get the URL, it's Gauss.io. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you again another time soon. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.